but really the thing that we drive home every practice, e almost every huddle, every time we get together for any amount of time, when we break out, somebody will scream, I am, and the rest of the team will scream third. When he came in and had that, that saying, I thought it was a wonderful thing, because if you, if you think about the Bible, it's God first, family second, and then you. That was what the culture that I was used to when I played college football, you know, at Mount Union. And, you know, I, I feel that at least my part is to just kind of, I'm definitely the third. I, I like to lift everybody up. We basically just want to do right. We don't want to cheat to have to win a game and we don't want to have to do anything that is illegal um, to just to win a game because at the end of the day that's what it is it's just a game. I do believe that showing off my talents here also makes me see that I can do great things in my life. Everybody's bought into the fact that they need to be third. It's God first, it's everyone else second and you third. The rest of the players on the team they're, they're my brothers now. You know what I'm saying? This all together is a team sport. Uh, you can't do it alone. <laughs> Just basically a role player. I mean, I'm here for my team. Whatever my team need me to do, I do. I, I, I do whatever I have to do, play whatever position I have to play. When Coach Bauer and Coach Tom first got here, this team was nowhere near as close as it is now. I do believe that how they spoke to everyone and they brought us all together. The thing with these guys is, is one, we want to be different than any team out there. Two, we wanted to show them that they can go out and have fun without the trash talking and, and some of the bad language that you hear. Football is football, but I think this season, the guys have really turned it around and they hit the field and they play hard. They molding into a family now which is it just driving me crazy to see this. And to me, we are taking over one step at a time. And how we're taking over is that we're being led and being guided by God. I feel that my job being an offensive lineman, um, I take that job very seriously. And my job is to not let anyone get hurt or injured. Even though I have a number and my name on the back of my jersey, that doesn't mean anything to me. As a lineman, we always have to get better. And if I feel like if I could beat you up, then we're both trying to beat each other up, and at the end, we both get better. You know, I love the game, so this is just something fun on the side. And I, you know, I love playing with, with these particular guys, you know, that I'm playing with now, so. I am a father of a beautiful son. You know, he's just, he's amazing. Um, at one point, I actually thought about sitting down and stop playing, but you know, my son gets happy around practice. I see it as going uh, to a good path right now. You know, uh, previous playing on previous teams to playing now with Coach Bauer and Coach Jackson, uh, I see that as uh, building up. And making sure that I work my way back into playing indoor football because it was fun. So, um, yeah, I was a pro for eight games. Um, I'm trying to get to arena ball. Uh, they're helping me out with that, teach me some things that I didn't know. Um, even though that we won't be able to help all of them, but hopefully we will be able to help those that got put before us. Um, when they get hit the field with, on game day, I just, I'm just on the sideline. I let the coaches do their thing and I let the players do their thing. Mostly I'm running around getting water and helping with the water boys. I'm asking you to respect yourselves, 
respect the game and respect your opponent when they're losing, okay? You play the game like it matters, even if it doesn't. Let's go. A lot of people follow a good person if he's leading them in the right way. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to be together with these fine young men. Please help us all to be better coaches. Help them to be better players. Help us all to heal and touch the hearts of Mr. Rickett and different players on our team who have had losses in their family. Just help us to heal as people and to be representatives of you on and off the field. Now let's go celebrate this win in Jesus' name. 